Welcome to the latest episode of the B-Movie Club. This is your host, Kevin. This week we'll be discussing the 1989 comedy classic, Christmas Vacation, starring Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo, Randy Quaid, Juliette Lewis, the list goes on and on. For those of you joining us for the first time, each week on the B-Movie Club I talk about certain guilty pleasures, forgotten classics, and uh, you have a chance to go onto our page, our webpage on Facebook, Original B-Movie Club, Give us the big thumbs up, and you can send us your favorite scenes, favorite quotes, any questions, comments, any movie ideas, and maybe we'll discuss it on the show. You can also go to our page on YouTube and subscribe. It's totally free, and if you want to reach me directly, you can tweet me at KD9575 on Twitter. Thank you for joining us. This week, Christmas Vacation. In this movie, our intrepid hero, uh, Clark W. Griswold, uh, it's Christmas vacation. He's trying to put on, like, the greatest family Christmas ever. <clears throat> and like he's done in the other movies, he tends to go a little bit overboard. He wants to go out and chop down his, uh, his own tree, not go to a lot, not have a plastic tree. So they find the biggest tree in all the land, don't have an axe, so they have to dig it up. See, this is hilarity ensues, if you get the idea. Um... He's waiting for the big Christmas bonus to come in uh, because he's already put a deposit down because he wants to have his, uh, a pool dug in his backyard to get ready for spring. So we've got that going on. There's a little tension there. Um, he also uh, wants to invite all of his in-laws and his parents uh, to come stay at the house. Their house isn't that big, although it looks pretty big to me if you get my drift. Um, but, you know, the grandparents kind of don't get along with each other and the kids are freaking out. There's a lot going on. Meanwhile, next door you have a crazy yuppie couple who uh, shake their fist at Clark W. Griswold whenever they see him. He's got this thing going on where he wants to have uh, 200,000 Italian blinking lights uh, stapled to his house to have the most beautiful, you know, well-lit house in the world. So there's that, but then they won't go on. You can't figure out what the problem is. You know, spoiler alert, Cousin Eddie shows up out of the blue in his crusty old Winnebago. They're, now they're staying at the house as well. For those of you guys who haven't seen uh, the previous movies, he doesn't get along that well with Cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie's kind of a hillbilly. Um, so there's, there's class warfare going on in this thing. Um, I don't want to spoil everything. I don't want to give away all the intricacies of the comedy. Uh, <laughs> it is still streaming instantly on Netflix, so rush out and see it. As I've been saying, it's actually the third movie uh, from the Vacation series. The original National Lampoon's Vacation came out in 1983. It was a big hit. It was about them uh, traveling cross-country to go to Wally World, which was kind of a Disneyland knockoff. Uh, the second one, European Vacation. They win a prize and go to Europe and have a vacation there. Uh, there was actually a Vegas Vacation, which came out in the 90s, where they all go to Vegas. Okay. Um, this is actually the only one of the movies uh, to have a direct sequel. There was actually a Christmas Vacation 2 that came out starring uh, Randy Quaid and uh, his wife and, not Randy Quaid's wife, the character's wife, Eddie's wife. Uh, and the original Audrey actually comes back to this one. One of the funny little conceits about these movies is that in every movie they have two different actors playing their kids. Uh, you might remember um, uh, Rusty in the first movie was played by Anthony Michael Hall, uh, you know, and then some other random people were in European Vacation. Uh, this movie, the children are played by Juliette Lewis, playing Audrey, who obviously we know was in uh, Old School and Cape Fear and a million other things. Uh, the son is actually played by a guy named Johnny Galecki, who is currently on The Big Bang Theory. So there you go. So the, this is... Uh, this is arguably the most famous uh, of the kids, if you will. Um, I always found it interesting. It's like they were all kind of around the same age. I don't know. One was a little bit older than the next movie. The next child, you know, is it the boy who's older? Is it the girl who's older? It's all a mystery. It doesn't really matter. I mean, they're kind of there to add uh, their own brand of comedy to the, to the film, I guess. I don't know. Uh, uh, Randy Quaid, like I said, was playing... Uh, Cousin Eddie in this movie. He was also in the original uh, movie. Uh, when they appear in this one, they've brought along their two kids. And of course, these kids are different than the two kids that were in the original movie. 
Uh, what's funny, a lot of people don't know this, uh, Eddie's daughter in the first one is Jane Krakowski, who's on 30 Rock playing Jenna Maloney. So, see, all these things come together. They all work out. Um, they, <laughs> there's, no, there's never any explanation as to why the kids are so wildly different. They don't look anything alike. Uh, one funny joke in, the one funny joke in Vegas Vacation is how uh, Chevy Chase, who plays Clark, um, looks at his kids kind of like he's never seen them before. Like, they look so different than the last time he's seen them kind of thing. Ah, very funny. Uh, Beverly D'Angelo plays his wife, you know, who puts up with all his nonsense. Um, she was in quite a few things. She's famous. She was uh, in Coal Miner's Daughter. She played uh, Patsy Klein. So it's an all-star cast. What can I tell you? Um, these movies, the original Vacation movie and Christmas Vacation, were actually based upon uh, two short stories written for National Lampoon's magazine, written by John Hughes. So there you go. So he's actually ex executive producer upon all these uh, films. So there's that. It has that going for it. Um, what else can I tell you about this movie? Um, the Griswold family house. And next door, like I said, the yuppie neighbors are there. Uh, Yuppie Neighbors, played by Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Nicholas Guest. Julia Louis-Dreyfus obviously was on Saturday Night Live, went on to uh, Seinfeld. Nicholas Guest is Christopher Guest's brother, so that's an interesting little connection there. And the house that they're in is actually the Lethal Weapon house. It's the same house that Roger Murtaugh lived in throughout all those Lethal Weapon movies. So this, this whole uh, neighborhood is actually on a, a back lot at one of the studios. So there you go. Um, this movie had four... Uh, cast members of Saturday Night Live, past and uh, present at that time. You obviously had Chevy Chase, like I said, you had Julia Louis-Dreyfus. You also had Brian Doyle Murray, who plays his boss, Mr. Shirley. And you also had, of course, uh, Cousin Eddie, who was played by Randy Quaid, who was on it for a season. So there you go, it's got strong uh, uh, connections. Uh, this movie actually didn't get very good reviews. Uh, Roger Ebert said that, like, the setups for the jokes are there, but they never seem to be able to follow through. Um, it wasn't a big hit, didn't get very good reviews, but has since become a Christmas tradition. Uh, every year you can find Christmas Vacation on TV because really, as compared to the other movies, it really is much more of a family kind of film. I mean, the previous movies, there was like nudity, there were dropping F-bombs, there's a lot of like, there was drug use, there's all sorts of other things uh, going on with this one. <laughs> it's just wholesome family entertainment. I mean, the, the worst thing you have to deal with is Chevy Chase falling off the roof for the 15th time. So there you go. But you know that's what you're going to get. If it's Chevy Chase, he's going to fall down a lot. Never injures himself, but he'll fall down. That's his, that's his hook, evidently. Uh, <laughs> another interesting little side note. Um, at the Christmas dinner, their uh, crazy senile Aunt Bethany shows up. Um, funny thing about her is that she was the original voice of Betty Boop back in the 30s. Do with that what you will. I found that kind of interesting. Um, so there you have it. It currently has a 63% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, it's not the funniest movie you'll see this year, but it really gets you into that Christmas holiday tradition. Interestingly enough, the movie takes place, goes up to uh, Christmas Eve. You actually never see Christmas Day. It ends on Christmas Eve with them seeing carolers with the SWAT team. If you haven't seen it, you don't know what I'm talking about. So there's that. Um, I enjoy it. It, it definitely, um, it, it has become a tradition around our house. Um, if you haven't seen it, I don't know what under rock you've been living, but check it out. It is still streaming instantly on Netflix, along with many other Christmas uh, uh, holiday movies, if you will. Um, next week, I'm going to go back to the horror genre. We're going back to the 90s. We're going to do The Haunting, the remake with Liam Neeson, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Owen Wilson. It's an all-star cast. It is still streaming instantly on Netflix. Rush out and check it out and tell me what you think. Send any questions, comments, favorite scenes, favorite quotes, and I may talk about it on the show. Of course, you can reach me on our page on Facebook, Original B-Movie Club. Give us the big thumbs up. Also on our page on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. It's totally free. And you can tweet me on Twitter at KD9575. So there you have it. As you know, I end every episode with a totally out of context quote, and here it is. It's a bit nipply out. I mean, nippy. There you have it. I know some people uh, posted uh, some quotes from the movie that I can't specifically mention on the show. 
this is a family podcast, a family uh, show here. Um, the the one that uh, my sister Tara talked about was when Eddie is dumping out his chemical toilet in the, in the sewer, justifying it by saying his his something's full. If you know what I'm talking about, if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is an iconic quote, but uh, I'm a school teacher and I'm not trying to get fired over this. If you know what I'm trying. So there you have it. Next week, <laughs> The Haunting. Thank you so much for joining us and be well.